So let's rock and roll. So for those who I've coached with and talked to, there are seven steps to closing sales, right? Um, in your presentation, and this is something that if you're doing anything in sales, um, uh, it, it, when you do all seven of these steps, this is how you maximize your sales, all right? So, and I'm going to give you some of the tips that I go through in this process uh, to make sure uh, that I'm nailing that, all right? So the first step in any sale, those who have been to SLDM or trained by me, is to do what? What's step one? Build rapport, right? You need to build a relationship. So the first thing I put here is my process. So during the process, I'm talking about like who I am and my future personal goals. I'm like, oh yeah, so I, I actually grew up here. This is my family, you know, just sharing your goals with them. So you're sharing about you, your future goals. By the way, here's what I, I want to say this, because this week I've done about a dozen skills checks. Share goals with purpose. Cool. Like connect your goals uh, to like why it's important to you. Don't just point to people. This is my dog. This is my mom. This is my brother. This is my sister. Uh, many of many, most people did that, by the way. Um, but say like, this is my family. Like they're a huge motivation for me. Like they're the reason that I work so hard. Like I don't want my mom to work another day in her life. My goal is to be able to take her around the world, take her to cool beaches, take her to the Bahamas. That's like her favorite. Um, I bought her this purse for birthday. So I work really hard to be able to give back. She's done so much to support me and help me, you know, or whatever it is. Like uh, for, you know, Kylan, it was like, Hey, this is my mom. I grew up in a single family home. My mom is like one of my biggest inspirations. Uh, she's always like motivated me, worked hard for me, like showed me ways to, to do more and be better. Um, I always, was really uh, worked really hard in school you know I went to school and specialized and actually studied engineering graduated cum laude top of my class with honors um, my goal is to do the same when I graduate from AM. and just talking about that with people and uh, oh this I played basketball my whole life all right tie it into this because I'm super competitive I love working in teams uh, I love uh, pushing myself to see how you know to be at my best um, and actually, that's why I, I called you. It's like, I'm actually in the biggest competition of the year. Our company is in our Super Bowl, like I told you on the phone. And so I'm working to be one of the top performers. And I'll show you some of my goals here in a bit. But thank you so much for having me. Uh, so uh, this is, you know, my, my goal in the future is to be able to, you know, create financial freedom and like be able to buy a really cool house. And so I have pictures of like a cool house, you know, maybe literally you have the words that say financial freedom. You know, you have this, that, whatever. And so I'm sharing with them uh, my personal goals. Then um, uh, what you have um, slash what you've gained, right? Some of you, you've already gained certain things. So you're talking about what you've already gained as well as what you're looking to gain from Cutco that's going to help you towards your personal future. You know, so uh, scholarships, uh, internships, assistant manager, like all those things, um, being able to get into GCLA, running your own business, learning the startup process. Um, uh, you know, these are things that you guys can share with your customers. Um, uh, what you're currently working on, all right? So what you're working on currently, put next to that current contest. So that's sharing with them about the push, what's happening now, like this is my goal for the summer. You guys, I'm going to give you, I have goal papers here uh, for what's coming up. So this is my goal this week so I could build momentum uh, for next week. And so you're showing them that. Uh, then you're going to talk. Uh, then I talked about the sponsorship and I'm like, yeah, the sponsorship has nothing to do with sales. And so I showed them that. And then I went into um, giving back goal. All right. So that was my process. And by the way, uh, giving back goal is a big thing for a lot of people. When they see a young person who's focused and excited and even just thinking about uh, how to give back, that's really impressive, you know, to people, for people. Um, uh, so know that, all right? We want to help you guys, um, uh, you know, capitalize on. So what is something, what are you giving back to? Um, is there a percent of your income you're giving back? Uh, is there, do you tithe? Do you help uh, your family out in any way? Hey, I want to be able to give my mom you know, back, you know, 10% of everything I earn or 20%. I want to be able to give back to help her with the family and with things. Um, I don't want her to have to worry about me and whatever it is of giving back. You know, one of my girls, Sarah Law, uh, she's like, I give away 10% of everything and it goes to my church and to my sister and her daughter. You know, my sister's a single um, mom and her sister was 10 years older than her. Uh, and she's like, and I just, I try to help her any way that I can. And this was an 18 year old, you know, saying that, like, I just, I want to help my sister and I help my church and just help any way that I can. And so that's really impressive for people. All right. Um, then uh, seed plants. All right. Whenever you share your current sales goal, Reggie, what do you say there? B-I. Mm -hmm. We're still on building rapport. Letter B, seed plants. I, one. Okay. Um, I prepared to go to Jones, writing your check for $1,000. Okay. 
No. Um, uh, so 10,000, 15,000, 20,000, 30,000. Uh, you guys want to give big numbers. Cool. So my goal is to sell 20 grand this week. So if you want to just write me a check for 20 grand, that would be awesome. Then I'll definitely hit my goal. All right. Um, you make them laugh. It's an outrageous number. And then I'm like, I'm just kidding, Miss Jones. Uh, we'll find something for you. And then you follow that up with what? Keep going. Let me show you what this looks like. Everyone look over here. So um, uh, I, I showed them my current sales goal and my goal is to sell $15,000 this week uh, to put me on pace for a $40,000 push or whatever that number is. My goal is to sell 10 grand this week or 20 K this week, uh, or I want to sell 30,000 in the next two weeks. So if you want to write me a check for 30 grand, Awesome. Then I'll definitely hit my goal. I'm like, I'm just kidding, Miss Jones, but we'll find something for you. Uh, so you're saying that, hey, just kidding, but we'll find something for you. And, then you're like, and by the way, this stuff is way too expensive for you to buy just to be nice. I'm assuming you didn't put away seven to 10 grand and redo your kitchen today. Um, uh, but I do want to show you why so many people invest in this stuff. Like Miss Smith, Miss Julie, Sandra, she's had them 15 years. Miss Jones, they've had them for 20. Uh, Miss Miss Sandra, she just actually redid her kitchen. You know, so you're name dropping anyone that they know that owns Cutco, um, uh, or if it's just your family, they don't know anyone. Be like, yeah, just like my parents did, and my grandma, and a lot of people that I know. All right, uh, but your name dropping. But anytime you can drop names of people they know, uh, that's even more powerful. Everyone good? All right. Uh, so that is step one with building rapport. Step two, we go to establishing credibility. All right. So what is your next objective? You gotta make sure they know it's legit, right? That's what establishing credibility means. So now we're talking about the company, we're going through, now by the way, you've gotta be building value all the way through. In the beginning with the seed plants, by the way, those are, when I put seed plants, those are money seed plants, meaning like literal, like money. Like I want them thinking big numbers. I want them thinking about 20 grand, 10 grand, seven to 10 grand. That's where I want their head at, you guys with me? All right, because if I want to close five, seven, 10K orders, I need them thinking in the, in the bigger thousands and tens of thousands, not in the hundreds. Everyone understand that? Uh, and that's why when Reggie said a thousand, I was like, no. Uh, I want them thinking about big numbers, all right? So nothing less than 10,000, what I tell someone uh, to write me a check for. I'm like, yeah, if you want to write me a check for like 10 grand, that'd be great. I'll definitely write it on there. I'm just kidding. Um, uh, I'm like, we'll find something for you. All right, but do you guys see how you're planting the seed there still? We'll find something for you. There's a sales expectation that's being planted from the beginning. Got it? So there's numbers expectation. There's a lot of psychology in all of this. There's numbers expectation. There's sales expectation. Uh, and then we're saying, and by the way, this stuff's way too expensive for you to buy just to be nice. I'm assuming you didn't put away seven to 10 grand to redo your kitchen today. Uh, but I do want to show you why so many people invest in this stuff. What are you also saying? Yeah, it's a lot of money, but people still buy this stuff. And then you're saying people. Does everyone see that? All right. It's like psychology, 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 psychology. Um, a lot of ninja stuff up in here. All right. With just your verbiage and what you're saying. Um, then we go to establish credibility. You guys just want to make sure all anywhere that you can build value, anywhere that you can talk about how it costs more, how it's an investment, how it's not cheap, anywhere and everywhere you can do that, do it. Got it? You want them like, as soon as you're like, how much is this stuff? You know, then you know you're in a good path and you know you're building value the right way. Does that make sense? All right. So you want to make sure that you guys are doing that. So there's three parts right there, just in the credibility page. When you guys are going through on page two in your manual, so you could write these right in um, into your manual when you're going through and you talk about how we make K-Bar, Cutco is made in the USA, you know, everything's guaranteed forever. So you say you buy once, use every day, never have to buy again. So it's the middle of page two in your manual when you're going through that. And then when you cut the penny at the bottom of page two, um, all these things, there's different phrases here, okay? So with the K-Bar, um, uh, go ahead, Cameron, uh, and read that for me. We make that knives that protect our country. So obviously they're high grade. All right. So, um, uh, and by the way, and I add this, I'm like, obviously they're high grade. So they cost more. All right. Yeah. Cost any version of that. But I'm like, so obviously it's going to cost more. So I'm just, I'm throwing that in there. All right. Uh, so it's going to cost more or, you know, so it's an investment or so it's not cheap. So there I might say, so it's high grade. So obviously it's not cheap, you know, so just some version of that. Uh, then we say it's made in the USA. All right. 
So when you say that, Andres, what does it say? Made in the USA. What do you want to add? Um, so American made. Just read it. I'm not yeah. telling you to guess. Um, uh, so Sorry. you guys can read. So uh, made in the USA. All right. Uh, so we're here. Um, uh, number two, point B. Oh, everything is guaranteed for every so obviously it costs more. All right. Uh, when you cut the penny, whether they ask or not, you bring it up. Cool. So you cut and they're like, whoa. And then what are you saying right away? Amadeo. As you can see, it's super high quality, so it's definitely not cheap. All right. So again, those are versions. Uh, it could be any kind of uh, mix of that. Everyone understand? Everyone see that? Um, but just like you're constantly plugging. It's not cheap. They're an investment. Uh, they cost more. Um, uh, like these are phrases you want them hearing as you're going through. Everyone got that? All right. When I was new, I was scared to do that because I said, oh my gosh, I don't want to freak them out. Well, you're going to freak them out at the end with the price or they're going to be expecting a big price. Does that make sense? All right. And then when you actually tell them it's less than what they buy in stores, it's like, oh, Okay, cool. So I want them thinking very big. And this is one of the things I learned from the biggest closers and people who had thousand dollar plus average orders. And this helped me get my average order to over 800 bucks. Cool. And when I started, it was 140. And then after advanced training and went up to close to 400 and then went up a little more. And when I really got this, like my average order was over 800 bucks all of July and August. All right. Uh, this makes a very big difference. So number three, you have to create a problem, right? So in your guy's manual, we just went through, um, nice, we got the about me, I like it. All right, um, uh, mi familia uh, and stuff here. So once we get to here, so we went through step two and now we're in step three, all right? So step three, we're going through uh, and creating a problem, right? What's the problem? Their knives suck, all right? So again, if you wanna sell sets, there's there are seed plants through here, okay? So uh, every time you say something, what are you saying? Sets with, sets with wood handles, sets with plastic handles, sets with carbon steel. A lot of sets are improperly constructed. Sets that have serrated, sets that have straight edge and eyes have to be sharpened all the time. Like just every time, just say sets with, got it? When you're explaining any one of these things, all right? And then if they have good knives, all right? Um, uh, can someone close to here read it? Kylan, talk loud. If they have good knives, what do you say? So again, whichever ones they have, if they, there's not German Japanese, but like if they have the Japanese ones, if they have the German knives, all right, go ahead. Uh, those are the top of line stores. Biggest issues I've seen through the years with new stock owners is that they have to be sharp on every time they're new, eventually, and, uh, and Got it. So as I'm going through that whole process, I'm just like, you know, and, and if they have woo stuff and they took out and I see they have a block of woo stuff, I'm going through this pretty quick. I'm like, just to give you a little recap and knife knowledge, I'm like, you know, great job in investing in good stuff. I go, so that's what are disgusting. They absorb everything. Da, da, and I go, so my sister, plastic, like cheap plastic, they chip, they crack, they melt. They don't really last long. They're not safe. Uh, they're slippery when they're wet. Uh, a lot of sets are improperly constructed where the blade is partially like glued into the tang or the tang is glued into the handle partially. Uh, so it creates a lot of pressure here. They can snap or break easily. And I'm like talking about everything. And I'm like, and I'm like, you have great stuff. Uh, and I tell them, I'm like, but I'm like the biggest issue I've seen through the years though with woo stock owners is that they have to be sharpened, you know, constantly. I'm like, they're actually supposed to be sharpened every time they're used and eventually you will replace them. And so that's the big thing. And when you say they're like, oh yeah. All right. Cause that's it. All right. They're going to buy woo stock a couple times, crap over and over and over or cut co once, you know, and never have to spend the money again. So uh, anyway, that's what you're going through there. Everyone good. All right. Uh, flip. All right. Flip. Step four. All right. What is step four? Build what? Uh, all right. And by the way, have we been doing this since the beginning? Yes. yes. All right. We've been doing it all the way through. Uh, but your fourth step is specific to let them know why is your product so good? Why should I buy your product? And so now we're going through there's five features. All right. So those who have been through my advanced training, this is review from that. All right. Uh, and you say, hey, there's five features that, that make up for the best. Let me tell you why they cost what they do. So that phrase, I would add that if it's not in your manual to the top of page four, when you say there's five features that make Cutco the world's finest set of cutlery, add in there if you don't have it already, let me tell you why they cost what they do. Um, then blank feature costs more, but it's worth it because, and then you go through benefits, all right? Um, uh, so every single time you're sharing a feature, and again, 
there's a handful of you in this room that have coached closely with me. So you've heard this, all right? Um, uh, this is something you want to make sure and when you watch someone else, if you see someone do a demo, are they doing this? Are they going through this process? It makes a big difference. So every time you say a feature, hey, we use this kind of handle, this is what we do. And like Hemis Jones, it costs more money to have that, but it's great because it fits lefties, righties, big, small, and you're walking through that process. All right. Um, uh, then uh, the biggest reason, like once you finish that page on the bottom of page four, your manual should say the biggest reason Cutco costs what it does is the guarantee. That should be on the bottom of page four. And then you go into the guarantee. Now, everyone put a star next to letter D. Most of you have never seen this before on the, on the handout, right? This is huge. So um, uh, here you go. So Javon, once you finish the guarantee page, before you gonna before you flip, Javon, to show them like the different family sets and everything, this is what you're gonna say. So if you can say that nice and loud for me. Cool. Uh, so everybody, we're going to read that together. All right. So read it out loud. So Cutco makes everything for the kitchen. We have your knife sets, cookware, flatware, kitchen, and outdoor accessories, as well as military grade hunting and fishing knives. I'm going to start with the knife sets first because that's usually people's first investment. But then I'll show you everything else real quick because if you do see stuff you might want later for you or for gifts, there are great deals on bundles and packages. And I say, and the more you buy now, the more you save, all right? So you wanna memorize this, all right? You wanna memorize this. And it's money as hell. It sets up how you're about to show them everything. It gets them thinking about gifts. And it also says what? The more you buy it once, the more you save. So this is really important, all right? And by the way, this is very like um, customer service, helpful. Savings, not like I wanna sell you everything. So watch me do it once and then we'll go to the next step because this is really important for you guys to get this down uh, and be really comfortable. So I'm like, so Ms. Jones, Cuckoo makes everything for the kitchen because right after the guarantee, and in my book, it showed the Cuckoo kitchen. All right, now you guys can just literally do this. You can just, those who don't have your book read done, you can literally just go from here um, and after the guarantee go, by the way, Ms. Jones, Cuckoo makes everything for the kitchen. All right, and so we make, and you're going through, we make the knife sets, uh, we make flatware, cookware, uh, kitchen accessories, outdoor accessories, we have military, military grade hunting and fishing knives. Uh, be like, so I'm gonna show you our sets first because that's usually people's first investment. Uh, but then I'll show you all the accessories real quick because if you do see anything you like for you or for gifts, um, uh, I'm like, you know, the more you buy it once, uh, the, the, the better deals that you get, you know? And so I wanna make sure they know, I'm like we have great deals on bundles and packages. And the more you buy it one time, the more you save. So I always like to make sure my customers see everything and then I'll get you prices, cool? This is important. I'm gonna show you guys how to close on Cutco Kitchens in a moment, okay? Uh, and so now what happens is I have a paper, all right? And this paper is where we're gonna go through. And I have whoever's, you know, dream kitchen or whatever it is. So I'm like, all right, Alondra's kitchen, you know, so I'm like, all right, so Alondra, we're going to go through and anything that you like that you would love to have for your kitchen, I'm just going to make note of everything you like. So then at the end, I can get you all the prices. Cool. So we've got three family sets. All right. And now I go into that and you guys see that. So right there, um, uh, part C or part, no, sorry, number five, part A. Um, uh, can you go ahead and read that for me, Christina? <clears throat> So we have three family sets. Our basic set was designed in 1949 to cover your basic cutting needs. It has seven knives, two forks, and a spatula, good for families that don't cook much. Then we have our complete set, which has all our basic tools and our customer requested tools. Great for, <clears throat> great for people that love to cook, love to entertain, have big families, or love to have the best. And then we have one in the middle, that is our signature family set for people that like to cook or do basic kind of tea. Okay, um, tie in like you when it pertains. Put like you in parentheses. It should be in parentheses, all right? So tie in and then put parentheses like you when it pertains. So here I go. If I see someone who likes really nice things, I go, Miss Jones, 
So how this works, uh, for most of you guys, you're showing them here. Some of you guys have the sets all together, whatever, it doesn't matter. But I go, Ms. Jones, so this is our basic set. So I say, we have three family sets. Uh, this is our basic set, it was designed in 1949 to cover your basic needs. Um, it's got seven knives, two forks, and a spatula. Um, uh, and it's for, you know, families that really just don't cook much. We have a complete set. Our complete set is for people who uh, love to cook. Oh, why is there like two of these? I'm so confused right now. Oh, the cooking uh, thing. I was like, eh? Um, uh, so these are three uh, family sets. No, because you're set up a little bit different. Actually, yeah, no. Uh, everyone doesn't have it all set up, so it's fine. So typically, uh, if you don't have the cookbook kitchen, you just go right to here, right? So that's what most of your books look like. That's why I got confused. So I'm like, then we have a complete set, which are people who love to cook, love to entertain. So like, if they have a big family, I'm gonna go have big families like you, you know, or love nice things like you, uh, or love to cook like you, or love to entertain like you. So whichever one they are, all right. So if they're an entertainer, I'm like, Miss Jones, this is people who love to cook, love to entertain like you have big families or just love to have the best, all right? Uh, if I know there's someone that loves to have the best, I'm like, so much this, this says for people who love to cook, love to entertain, have big families, or just love to have the best like you, all right? So you're just adding like you to whichever one of those four things they are. Are they someone who loves to cook, loves to entertain, has a big family, or just loves to have the best, cool? So if they're one of those, I'm saying like you, and they go, oh yeah, that is me, all right? So now it connects them like, oh, that's my set. Does that make sense, all right? So just planning those, that's really important as you're going through. And I'm like, so I'm going to show you, um, uh, I'm like, we have one set in the middle. So I'm like, I'm like, I'm going to walk through this. I'm like, we have our set in the middle, which is our signature set. And this is for uh, families that like to cook or do basic entertaining. I'm like, so let me just walk through this real quick. Don't worry about walkthrough names and uses on two page signature. Like that doesn't exist. That was from like nine years ago. Um, uh, so don't worry about that. All right. So they made this trifold, which I freaking love. So you guys can easily go through here. So now we're walking through um uh each of these tools now who here wants to sell more sets just in general you're not going to sell kitchens if you're not selling the bigger sets all right so first thing first if you want to be selling cutco kitchens they need to be sold on a homemaker signature complete set so if you're having a hard time with that you need to practice names and uses this week you got to get good at selling homemakers all right i have a 21 minute video that shows you how to show the complete set every time while doing this i'm going to walk through it's super fast right now but you guys should watch that uh, I posted it into, I know, our office uh, group, uh, but I would recommend you guys check it out because um, I go through more detail and you guys can write some notes on it. Um, but it's really simple because for me, uh, there's different schools of thought, all right? Uh, I used to teach the nation on this. I was one of the national coaches for this in 2003 because I used to average over uh, um, like 1.2 complete sets a week that I used to sell, all right? And by the way, I didn't have rich people. I see some of the houses here, I'm like, oh my God, you guys saw, I've never sold any houses like that, all right? Never, ever, ever have I sold like anything that looks like River Oaks or I've never been into a home like that. I've never been into a home, like a lot of areas, like I was very middle, middle class suburbs, middle, lower class is where I started. My family's like two bedroom apartment, six people in it, okay? Um, and so I didn't have people with my, and I got good, good Mac customers and good middle and middle upper, uh, but that, that was, that was it. That was my bread and butter, you know, like when I see the areas here and the, the homes people go into and they're like, oh, I'm going to sell my homemaker. I'm like, what? I'm like, I sold a homemaker to the person in the duplex, all right, in the ghetto. I'm like, you better be dropping three to five K at least in that house, if not seven to 10 K. I'm like, I don't know what you're thinking. Almost every house in Houston should be dropping three to five K. I'm like, a homemaker is a trailer park, all right? A homemaker is the side of a duplex. A homemaker is a pit, seven knives, two forks, and a spatula. If they have a family and they cook at all, they're gonna have a homemaker set. If they like to cook, if they have parties, people come over there for a 4th of July or a Christmas party, they should have at least a signature, if not a complete set. Uh, so I, I'm like, if someone does not cook, they should own a homemaker. If someone cooks, they should have a complete set. That, that was my school thought growing up. And that's why I sold them. Like, oh, you like to cook? I'm like, this is good for you. If they don't cook, that's when I would sell a homemaker, all right? Uh, this is for anything in the air, all right? This is any small slicing. Fruits, veggies, cream, veggies. This right here is for sandwiches, desserts, dishes, lasagna, quiche, brownies, pies. This is your larger utility, medium-sized fruits and veggies. For turning and serving, all right? You've got your heavy duty for freezer. You've got your chopper for veggies. You have a bread knife. And you have a master carving set for your special occasions. Um, Covers your basic needs. Very simple, <laughs> okay? So... Do your customers understand the news? It's like anything in the air. I'm like, do you guys ever cut anything in the air? I'm like, peeling. I'm like, that's your air knife. 
I'm like small utility. I'm like limes, lemons, oranges, grapefruit, small, like any small cinnamon. Do you guys ever cut any citrus? Or like, it's like, yeah, I'm like all your small stuff. I'm like, then this right here, I'm like, do you guys ever make sandwiches or brownies or cakes or lasagnas or quiche or pies or like anything in a dish? I'm like, cut it, scoop it, serve it. You have one tool. It's freaking awesome. I'm like large utility, amazing. Um, uh, for like medium sized fruits and veggies, leftover carving, you know, small rows. I'm like, do you guys ever have stuff in the medium to large range? But they're like, yeah. I'm like, yeah, this is great. You have your turning fork. I'm like, do you guys ever turn anything on a stove? Pick things out of jars or serve things on a table? Cool. This is made for, for picking things up and serving it. I go here. Do you guys ever have anything in the freezer or tougher jobs or things with little bones? I'm like, we used to buy a lot of Costco, a lot of pre-made frozen stuff. Um, my mom would buy bags of chicken wings. So instead of defrosting the whole bag, boom, separate what you need, put the rest back in there. Separating frozen hot dogs, hamburgers, whatever. And they're like, oh yeah, I'm like, that's what you use that. I'm like, this is your protector of the basic set. You're not gonna whack a frozen food with any of the other ones. Um, this right here is your chopper. I'm like, you ever see the chefs on TV? They're like, yeah, I'm like, you know, they're like chopping veggies and you're like, it does not look like that in my kitchen. I'm like, that's just because you don't know how to use a chef knife. I didn't know. Um, like, it's actually made to do that. It's made to rock. I go, you put the front in the and I show them that. That's one knife I love to show people. And they're like, oh my gosh. And it's funny. Then you have the ones that do cook, you know, but I'd be showing Miss Jones. I'm like, yeah, it's on Miss Jones. You just this here and it just rocks and you have faster I'm like so you see the chefs like just chopping up and then they're mincing I'm like that's what it's made to do and so, so I'm like oh let me see you know and then they start doing it, and I'm like oh and they're like oh my gosh that's how they do it this is so nice you know and then some while I was showing them they're like give me that and they grab the knife and they're like Pfft. I'm like oh I didn't know I was with Emerald I'm like go ahead go ahead Miss Jones uh and we're just like laughing and have fun I'm like but I go even if you don't like typical it makes it so much faster I go, and if you're feeling like mom of the day or mom of the year, whatever, you can make omelets or like, like my mom would do chop up uh, celery and, and onions for like our tuna. Like we always had like tuna sandwiches um, or any other salads, but like chopping up little veggies for our omelets and stuff. I'm like, it's really nice. And you save so much more money when you buy things whole instead of pre-cut, all right? Uh, you save so much more. So that's something. And I'm like, and then you have your bread knife, all right? Which you can also use for like uh, frozen cakes, like carvel cakes or cold stone cakes. Uh, it works really nice for that too, as well as soft, spongy, like uh, angel food cakes. And then you have your master parking set. And that's for your turkey, ham, lamb, special occasions. Uh, you can even use it more often. Some people use it for like bigger melons. They'll use this for like the grill. Uh, so you could use it, but it's made to use a couple times a year. And that covers your basic needs for a lifetime. Cool. So our signature set, like I said, is for families that like to cook or do basic entertaining. Um, and so this has the scissors. You know, those scissors are amazing. All right. And they're like, oh, yeah, I love those things. I'm like, this has the table knives that I showed you. And obviously, I showed them the table knife to do the leather. So I'm, I'm talking about post, post table knife. All right. So once we've done that, then I'm like, so. For, for those who like to feel the larger steak knife, our two larger sets come with that option. So the signature set uh, has the scissors that come in the block. It has 10 table knives or 10 steak knives. Um, it has our cheese knife, which is really nice to go there. And then it has in the chopping family. And if you watch my video, when I what I just did for you guys, I actually take about an extra minute, minute and a half, but I've actually already talked about the plate set. So as I go through this, I talk about um, everything. So when I talk about this and the area and I go, the complete set also has a larger option, which is really nice for larger family jobs. When I explain small cutting, oh, by the way, Ms. Jones, the complete set also has a, a different version called the boning knife that's made specialty for deboning and de-skinning. I talk about this normal, normal, normal. When I talk about the butcher, I say, by the way, Ms. Jones, we make three heavy duty knives. That's your basic one for regular walking. We have one called a cleaver. That's Big Papa. He's 1.2 knives per pound rising. <laughs> <coughs> and then the third, Heavy duty is actually not for whacking, it's for muscling through tougher jobs. Um, and they're like, oh, okay. So you can use that. Oh, no, you're so sweet, thank you. Someone let Orlando through so he could sit over here. Um, uh, so, come in, all right. Um, uh, so then um, when you guys go through, so I talk about that. When I talk about the chopper and I show them how to use it, they're like, oh, oh my God, that's how they do on TV. Then I say, by the way, Ms. Jones, we make three chopping knives. Your traditional chef, there's a veggie knife with a wider blade, which is really nice for transferring foods as well. And then there's a Santoku, which Rachel Ray really popularized um, about a decade ago. Uh, but it's, uh, it's a celebrity knife that's made for chopping and you can fillet with it. So it's like sushi and a lot of Asian style cooking. Um, uh, so the complete set has all three versions. Um, uh, this 
the, the basic one just has your traditional chef. And you have a bread knife. The complete set also has, after I talk about the bread knife, I say it has a shorter version, which is nice when you're entertaining. So you're not passing like a sword around the table. And then um, your master carving set, you use a couple times a year, da da da. So that's it. Like what I just said to you is literally all I say. And if you watch my video, I just add it to each one. Like, oh yeah, the complete also has a larger version. Oh, the complete also has, and I just talk about it as I go through. And then when I go to talk about the signature, I go, so this has the scissors, which you saw and are amazing. The 10 table knives, uh, or for a small of charge, there's the steak knives, which are super popular. Check this out. Um, we can use that. Cheese knife has the, block, the hole, so you don't stick to the block. You get nice thin slices. And then, Ms. Jones, you have an extra chopping knife. So it's in the chopping family. So you have a traditional shaft, but you also have a shorter, um, uh, shorter petite santoku, a shorter chopping knife, which is nice for if you're doing like herbs or garlic or any small mincing that can go along with this. And then it has the uh, heavy duty. You have the basic whacking one, and then you have the one for muscling through tougher jobs. Cool? So you have those there. So that's really neat there, all right? Um, uh, so you show them that and I say, and then everyone look up. This is how I do it. There's different schools of thought, but I'm like, less is more. All right, <laughs> just less is more, all right? You do not want, um, and it is, you know, like if you show too much, it's overwhelming, right? Uh, I think. So I always close this and I go and our complete set has the basic tools and the specialty. Cool. Uh, so it has those two other choppers I told you about. That's a big papa. I'll tell you about that in a second. That's a shorter bread knife. That's the one for deep bone and deep skinning. Uh, that's the air knife I told you about. Cool. The only one I didn't tell you about, Miss Jones, was this one. Um, and it's kind of the same shape as the bread, but it's very thin. It's very flexible. And it's made for very thin fillets. So if you're doing carpaccio, sushi, uh, fish fillets, uh, maybe you want to fill a cheesesteak or a chicken cheesesteak, you can take a chicken breast and just like fillet it like thin strips and then cook it up with some onions and stuff and peppers, make some Philly cheesesteaks. Uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, but that is our salmon knife. So any paper thin, like if you want paper thin slices of meat, fish, uh, whatever, that's what you would use for that. Cool. So if you were considering a set for your family, would you prefer the complete set so that you guys have everything? Would you prefer the uh, signature family set uh, for people that like to cook or do basic entertaining or just the basic cutting tools? Basic. All right, all right, cool. Uh, and that's where, you know, whatever, if you're using this, you could say, um, uh, you know, which one of these, you know, would be best if you have this pulled out. If not, you just point to that, all right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so you know in the part where you're supposed to say like, um, when you do the price comparison, like you're already doing the price? Mm -hmm. I haven't done price comparison yet. Okay, yeah, we're not there yet. So no price comparison yet. Everyone got that? We just went through names and uses. So we're on step five, which is just names and uses. Cool. So I went through, um, uh, I walked through the tools. All right. Part C says they need to connect with the tool if you're going to sell it. Uh, so I always use a, a nickname like the air knife, the small utility, the sandwich knife, the large utility, you know, the like um, heavy duty the delicate chopper, the bread knife. So like nicknames they can connect with easily because then they go, oh yeah, I'm gonna use that, all right? So that's what we want. That's the effect that we want. Um, uh, then it says, do you ever cut, right? I always say that, oh, do you guys ever cut limes or lemons or oranges? Or they're like, yeah, I'm like, cool. I'm like, this is what you'd use that for. Uh, but it's, do you ever cut? Because my goal is to get a what? Yes, yes. I want a yes every time. Uh, so that's what I'm going through there. And then guys, put a, put a star next to F. You guys just heard me doing, uh, do this, all right? Um, uh, and I always ask them, and sometimes it's flip flops. You know, like I just said, hey, do you want the complete set? So you have everything. That's how I've been doing it recently. It's just like um, the complete set. So you have everything, signature, or just the basic cutting tools, all right? You can say, so would you want just the basic cutting tools, the signature set, or the complete set? So you have everything, uh, and that's the better psychological way. So you can end with a yes. You're like the complete set, so you have everything, and they're like, oh yeah. All right, little little head nod. All right, um, so you have that. You're like, all right, great. All right, what do I do now? I didn't write this down, but make a note after you ask that on F. Make a note. Write down the set they liked. So on the paper that says Alondra's kitchen, I'm gonna write down the set she liked. So let's say Alondra told me I like the signature. I'm like, awesome. And with the staker table. All right, cool. All right, well, Miss Jones, let me show you everything else real quick to see anything else you liked, and then I'll get prices for you. Everyone got that? So 
So that's how I do it. Just real simple. I'm like, yeah, let me show you everything else. Um, so, and then I'll get prices for you. Mm -hmm. So now I flip, I'm like, oh, so we also have flatware. Uh, and so I'm showing them in my next book. So I'm skipping and actually in mine, I'll tell you guys what I did. I took this book, I took these two pages and I ripped them and I kept them in there. And then the rest of this, I put in the back pocket. If I ever needed it, I pull it out. If they needed gifts, I pull it out. If they had weddings, I take it out. That was in the back pocket hiding out, all right? So I went straight from the set, straight to flatware. That was the next page in my book because I just took out the other ones. So after we picked the set, I go, so Miss Jones, we've got forks and spoons our stainless flatware. And so you talk about that. I'm not here to teach you about how to explain this. You guys can watch videos and look at notes from SE1, people who taught that. And you can talk to the CSPs this next week as well. Um, uh, but we've got the flatware, then the cookware. And I, I love this because it tells you all about it. And so you can, you can literally just read this page to them, go through it. And that's what, how you sell cookware. <laughs> and then have them watch the three minute video of it actually happening. Be like, yeah, it has this, it has this, it increases this, it does this, here's how it does it. Like, so literally just read this page, that's your training on cookware and play the three minute video. Um, like, so it's awesome, like it cooks from all the sides, it reduces cutting time, it's healthier for you, uh, keeps more nutrients and everything in there. Um, but after I do that, like when I show the cookware, the question I ask, it's written on there on your handout. What, is the, what does it say? Would you, would you wanna know prices on that? Cool? That was a key phrase I always used. So I showed them the flatware and then I would say, hey, did you wanna know prices on that? And they're like, oh yeah. And I put it on their list. Cool. And I would just add it here. And so if they said yes, I'm like, all right, cool. I'm gonna put here flatware. Maybe she's like, no, um, I'm good with the flatware. I have good flatware. I'm like, all right, awesome. I explained the cookware. Did you wanna know prices on that? She's like, yeah, yeah. I'm like, all right. So then I add in their cookware. And I say, Ms. Jones, and if she said yes, I wanted to know a little further. So I said, Ms. Jones, if you were looking at cookware, would you, would you be wanting to know the price on a complete set, the accessories or one of the smaller um, sets, one of the smaller versions? And they can look at it and they tell me and I write it. I'm like, all right, awesome. All right, um, or you don't even have to ask. I'm just like, all right, I'll get your price on cookware at the end because I'm just gonna show them everything. And then if not, we'll go from there. Once I show them that, go Ms. Jones. Uh, we also have tons of gifts and accessories uh for weddings birthdays and like you can literally read off the stinking sheet because it tells you everything here all right uh where it says gifts and accessories birthdays mother's day wedding hostess anniversary bridal shower housewarming father's day holiday thank you graduation retirement new apartment um you could read off all that be like and we got the holidays coming up and so we just started our christmas and july specials Everyone say Christmas in July special. Oh yeah. All right. So we get lots of those. So Christmas in July specials. So we're walking through um, the So I'm like, so if there's anything else that you see too, not just for you, but you might want to know the prices on for gifts for other people. Let me know that too. Cool. So we've got steak, table knife sets. And so I'm walking them through and I'm like, we got table knives. We've got them in stainless steel, by the way, as well. Uh, we have the steak knives, so you can buy those in sets. I'm like, would you want to add any more or want to know prices to add any more to your set? Yes or no. I just keep adding to this list. Got it? My goal is to get that list as big as possible. Um, if they're like, I'm like, I'll put it on to so new price for you. We have gadgets. This right here is your can opener. You got this. And I tell them about all these. I'm like, hey, would you want to know price? I'm like, you want to know? And if they're like, oh, I'm like, oh, I'll get you the price of that. That thing's amazing. Uh, so you can be suggestive. You build a report, you can suggest things and just feel them out. And so I'm going through there and I'm adding on there. And I'm like, all right, uh, can opener. And then you like the entertainer pack. All right, sweet. Um, then we've got, um, oh, these are the military grade hunting and fishing knives. Um, so this right here. You've got, this is actually a replica of the ones we make for the U.S. Marines. Uh, so this is super legit. You can engrave it for eight bucks. Um, uh, and so that's really nice. When you engrave it, it actually comes out silver. Uh, when you engrave the black, it's like silver inside. So it's, it's pretty, pretty sexy. Uh, you got your fishing knife. And I tell about this fishing knife and our hunting knife. It's sterling silver in the tips in the middle. Absolutely beautiful knife. I'm showing them the, the, the hunting, da, 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 whatever. Gardening, those things go through like sandstone and tough grounds, just like the scissors cut penny. You got the pruners, they'll cut right through those branches. If someone gardens, I always tell them, I'm like, if someone gardens, if they use those, they're like, oh my God. Uh, like they love them. Like how people are shocked with the penny and the scissors. Gardeners, when they use our tools, that's how they are in the garden. They're like, um, do you know somebody who gardens? 
yeah, I sold one to my neighbor because she's always asking me to go help her with yard work. Yeah, so and they're like, like, you want a garden set? <laughs> she's like, oh my God, y'all have those? And I was just like, yeah. yeah, and when they use them, like they're amazing, all right? I don't, and I tell them like, I don't garden at all. I was like, every single person I've ever sold the gardening set to, uh, anyone who's ever bought pruners, they're like, best thing ever. Like they just rave about it. They're plum and yellow, the two most found colors in the garden. Uh, they're also guaranteed. So anything happens because of rain, rusting, a lot of tools with like rust and stuff for outside. All of our stuff uh, is, is made to not rust. And even if it did, everything is replaced for free forever. So it's the last set of gardening tools they're gonna buy. Cool. Uh, so we have our cog and knives, we have our barbecue tools. They're super long. You can flip your neighbor's burgers with them. I'm um, like, Miss Jones, <laughs> is there anything here you might wanna know prices on? All right, cool. Barbecue set, um, uh, awesome. And the fishing knife, all right, cool. Um, and so I'm writing stuff. I'm like, and then the rest of this is just gives us, do you have any birthdays or weddings or anything coming up? If they say yes, then I'm gonna pull out the starter sets, the galley and the other ones to end these and show them the different things. I'm like, depending how much, some people like to spend smaller amount for weddings and birthdays, so they'll buy one of these. Uh, most people end up buying like one of our starter sets and I show them like the essentials and all those as like gifts, all right? I'm like, so uh, we could put those. Once we've gone through all that, I'm like, so, um, uh, I'm like, so Ms. Jones, um, let me review why so many people choose to invest in sets, you know? And I'm going back and I like to be, and my set picture, you guys might be in different places, but I like to be right here, um, uh, wherever you are on the homemaker. You want to be here. Uh, if you have this fold out, cool, you can use that. Uh, I didn't have that. Uh, so I just want here, all right? Um, but either here or the complete set. I cut out my book. So my book actually looked like this, where uh, the sets are actually both next to each other, because that's how I put it. I did Javon's book like mine. Is it still like mine was? Cool. So when I went from the guarantee, that's what my book looked like. So I had the homemaker, but instead of the kitchen tools, I just had this here. So that then I went here and I went through the names and uses, and then I opened it, and then I went, oh, and then we have the complete, and then, okay, cool, which set do you like the best? Which of those three? Okay, awesome. And then I had the flatware, all right, and then I had the cookware, uh, and then I showed them everything else real quick, and then I went back. Like, so let me review why so many people choose to invest in sets. Boom, I'm right back here, cool. I'm like, set tab the, and you're going through your top of page eight. Everyone good? So back to the handout real quick. Let's look at this before I show you guys how to close on big freaking orders, all right? So once you guys do that, then it says, when done, flip back to cut co-kitchen close. All right, so once you have everything, um, uh, you guys, well, I would say, sorry, flip back to summary. All right, that's what you want to say first is your summary as to why people buy sets. And then you're going to go into the kitchen clothes. All right. So you got to compare prices. All right. So first off, you have to have your foundation. And that's why we were getting, you know, as those who are, you guys were walking in earlier, as you were walking in, we were checking skill sets because you have to have the foundation down. It's all based on eight and nine. If you look at my clothes and compare it, you're gonna see like, oh, like it's the exact same thing. It's just built off that foundation, all right? Um, so I wanna make sure you guys know that. Um, uh, and, I, and, it, and so everyone look here. It says, I close triple close if they only pick knives. What do I mean by that? On here, she said, and by the way, I'm talking about the three legs to the, to the kitchen. If you look at the, the kitchen as a three-legged stool, knives, Flatware and the cookware, cool. Those are the three main components of the kitchen. Then you have all the accessories and stuff, right? So of those three, if they wanted prices, they like the knife set and the flatware or the cookware. So two or more, two, two or the three, I'm gonna close on the kitchen close. If they only like the knives, they didn't care about the flatware or the cookware, I'm not gonna close with the kitchen close. Everyone understand that? All of the times that I close, I close one of two ways. My close, which I'm going to give you, which is called my triple close. All right. And then, and if not, then I close with the kitchen close. So knives only. What am I closing with? Triple close. Knives plus one of the two others. I'm closing with a kitchen close. All right. So I'm going to show you guys this. Uh, but uh, before I do that, I want to review the close and make sure you guys have that. And then guys, step seven says AFTO, ask for the order. You have to actually ask them if they want to try it today. It's all about finding their comfort zone. In Circle Deposit Program, I'm huge with the deposit program. Uh, if you need to see that for the basic homemaker, you guys can look at it. I recorded it yesterday with Andres. Um, 
so we can we can give that to you guys we can send that into your groups all right you can look at it on my youtube um uh, kathy kristen just go on youtube and search kathy kristen and you'll see it it's one of the first videos because it was yesterday all right so three parts to the close everyone go to page eight all right page eight and nine in your manual page eight and nine in your manual and then i'm going to show you guys how to do this all right page eight and nine in your manual three parts to your close so after the summary it says selecting the best option that page page eight is the comparison are you building up the competition or are you trying to knock them down all right build them up the higher you build them up the higher you build yourself up okay i have a couple things that i do in here to get the customer going oh okay i get it and what i'm saying is when you guys go through here right in the beginning it says when it comes to high quality cutlery it's like anything else there's a wide range of quality and prices right so what are you saying in layman's term miss jones i know there's different prices got it and then it says what cutco is high quality all right it's, it's top rated so we only compare to the highest quality brands so i'm saying miss jones Cutco is not the cheap crap, so I'm not going to show you cheap stuff. Like, that's what you're saying there, right? So I'm like, I know that there's different prices, Ms. Jones, but Cutco is top rated, so we only compare it to the best stuff. Like, that's what you're saying there in layman's terms. Got it? Do not skip that because that's very important to make sure you guys get that across. Then you're like, I have a price comparison, you know, and you go into that. Um, uh, then, guys, when you show the comparison, you tell them each brand has different sets that range in price okay why are we bringing this up because if they bought woo stuff at macy's or they bought woo stuff wherever and they bought it and by the way if they bought the one at macy's or bed bath and beyond or whatever they could have bought a woo stuff classic set that's like the homemaker it's sixteen hundred dollars. You can buy it for eleven hundred bucks, thousand bucks. Just so you guys know, that's the Wustoff Classic. That's like their three series. If you're looking at BMW, you guys know how there's like three series, five series, seven series. Now there's one series. You know, there's a million. But forever, there was three, five, seven. All right, which is the most expensive? Seven series is the most. That's your your highest highest grade. Cool. Um, and then, I mean, you have the M series, right? Uh, the super fast racy cars, all right? So you've got that. But what, I, what you're saying there, when you say each brand has different sets that range in price, is you're saying to them, like, hey, you're Wusta, there's different kinds, all right? Because if you're just saying, hey, Wusta is the best, here's what Wusta costs $3,400. And in her head, she's like, no one did it. I paid $1,100 for mine. I don't know what you're talking about, you know? Um, so it is ruining your credibility because in her head, she's going, you don't know what you're talking about. Got it? So basically we're saying there, hey, Miss Jones, uh, each brand has different sets that range in price. So I always say kind of like BMW has like three, five, seven series. I'm like, this is the seven series fully loaded. So obviously it's not cheap. They retail for 3,435. You can find them on sale for about two grand. Cool. There are some differences between us and them. And I keep going. Does that make sense? Because I want them to register like, oh, so if they bought a cheaper one, they're like, oh, I probably have the three series. <laughs> All right. But I'm letting them know what I'm showing you is the seven series fully loaded. Does that make sense to everybody? All right. So it's just an easy analogy that one of uh, the top reps when I was a rep, one of the hot shots like used and taught me back then. And he's like, it's money. Like they get it. And they're like, oh, okay. Yeah. All right. So now if they bought a cheaper one. They know like, well, I didn't get the seven series fully loaded. <laughs> you know, like I just got whichever one was cheapest at the store. Uh, and that's definitely not going to be the, the nicest one. All right. Um, then on the bottom, then you compare. All right. And on the bottom, when you say Cuckoo owners, will tell you it's 10 times better. You want to like um, name drop. So Cuckoo owners, like my Smith, the Jones, the they'll tell you it's 10 times better. You got that? that it doesn't uh anytime it, it is it, even better all right um uh, so um uh, when you're name dropping you can give personal all right if there's anyone they know you want to say that too you know so i'm like oh yeah like my grandma's had them in seven years my best friend's mom had a 40 years so like i didn't drop my own um and then whenever they had someone like oh you know miss Susie, she's had them 20 years you know and i name drop someone that they know and i'm like so you keep reading through there. So that page, and the last thing that I do on this, so everyone look up, this is your comparison, right? The last thing on the bottom, when I say, 
Um, so it's twice the price. You're talking over four thousand dollars. All right, who's trained with me? What do I say? Like like a nice refrigerator um, or appliance or a really nice set of tools. All right. Um, uh, so this helped me a lot too because when I started off, we would go, "How much? What? Four thousand? For me, it was a lot of Spanish. Like, like, "Cuatro mil," and I'm like, "Ha, uh, see." Sí. Um, uh, but, um, uh, but I'd be like, oh no, don't worry. It's not, you know, so don't do that. My friend taught me, he's like, you want to be like super chill. And, and my manager said, when you're doing your closing and you're covering prices, all right, you've got to be like, you're sitting in a hot tub, chilling, slow down. Like I talk really fast. He's like, you got to slow down. You got to, you know, so it's like, oh, so, you know, at twice the price, even if you use a sale price, uh, you're looking at, you know, $4,000 and they're like, all right, cool. I'm like, so it's like buying a really nice refrigerator, you know, or appliance or, or a really nice set of tools. They're like, oh man, that makes sense. And so I had people really connect with that. You know, if it was a mechanic, I'm like, yeah, like if you put a really nice set of snap on, they're like, oh yeah. <laughs> it's like, that costs a lot. And I'm like, so as I mentioned earlier, uh, we have our three family sets, all right? Um, uh, so now I go to top page nine, which is a little bit adjusted because I'm showing them all the sets, you know? So I'm going to give you guys a new typed out, but I'm just walking you through this. So Step one, we just went through of closing a sale is the comparison. Everyone got that? Everyone say that. The comparison. comparison. Make sure you build up your competition. The second step of closing, all right? And those of you who want to be assistant managers or an office, you need to write this down to make sure you know how to explain this to somebody. So you have the comparison, which is page eight. Top of page nine is your price presentation, telling them what it actually costs, all right? So your price presentation is the second part of the closing. And the third part of the closing is asking for the order all right asking them do you actually want to get it so those are the three parts the comparison the price presentation and then asking for the order all right so i want to show you guys um what this looks like so i'm going to go because i'm going to show you the kitchen and then i'm going to show you the normal clothes the kitchen clothes is going to be used a smaller percent of the time when do you use it when they pick two or more of the three main things cool Two or more of the three main things. So in this case, they did. Those of you sitting on the floor, I would come over here and sit next to me. If you guys want to move and look at it, uh, you totally can. But I'm going to do it right here. So I would stand, move around, whatever. Um, but I'm going to do the kitchen clothes. All right, so you guys can see this. So I have my clothes here, and I'm, I'm going with them. So once I've gone through the summary of why people should get sets, I'm like, all right, Miss Jones, so let's talk prices. Have you had the chance to price find cutlery lately? You guys see my customers. Have you had a chance to price find cutlery lately? No. Okay, cool. It's like any, I'm like, uh, most people do it when you get married, you know, like long ago. I'm like, so it's like anything else. There's a wide variety of quality and prices. Cutco's top rated, so we only compare the highest quality brands. Have you ever been to like Williams Sonoma or Macy's um, uh, or like Sur the Table or anything before? All right, so this is from Williams Sonoma, one of the top kitchen stores. Like you can, you know, there's one here in town and country, Galleria Mall, uh, almost any any nice mall um, has uh, a Williams Sonoma. And um, uh, this is a price comparison for some of the top color brands that you're going to find in those stores. All right, and so Shun, uh, along with, excuse me, we have um, uh, along with Wustaf and Henkels, which are the German ones, um, are top rated in stores. Uh, these high quality sets are made overseas in Japan, and the other ones are German. And each brand has different sets that range in price, kind of like BMW has a three, five, and seven series. This is a th seven series fully loaded models, all right? So obviously they're not cheap. So if you went to Williams Sonoma uh, to purchase a new set of knives, the size of just our basic set, uh, the homemaker set, if you got the all clad copper core, uh, their cookware set, or a comparable to our medium set there. Um, and if you got the uh, flatware, this is a top sterling uh, sterling silver, you know, and those are about 120 a pop. And if you got 12 settings, um, uh, this is tip uh, normally over 11,776. As you can see here, you can get it on sale for 8,739 if you wanted to redo all of those components of your kitchen. Cool. Now, there are some major differences between this stuff and ours. So, uh, first off, the all clad um, or um, uh, the overseas brands mostly have straight edges, so they have to be sharpened constantly, um, uh, which is a hassle. They're not recommended to put in the dishwasher, and the warranties against manufacturing defects only. In comparison, Cutco has the double D edge stay sharp edge, and we have the four part forever guarantee and the you know free sharpening and fifteen day trial. Um, all clad is the top cookware 
uh, sold in stores, but it's not low moisture cookware, um, uh, and uh, which is a higher grade of cookware altogether. And it's actually not sold in stores. Uh, and this is one of the top um, flatware chests that are so, uh, sold in Italy, all right, or sold from Italy. So anyone who owns Cutco, like Miss Smith, the Jones, um, uh, Sandra, like they'll tell you it's 10 times better than any knives I've ever used. I know you haven't had a chance to really use it that much yet, but considering the unique features uh, and uh, the guarantee, most people agree Cutco is at least twice as good as the in-store competition. Well, if something's twice as good, offers the, uh, twice the quality and value and lasts forever, what would you expect it to be in cost? Twice the price. Yeah. Um, yeah, at least twice the price. And if you were looking to redo your, ki um, your kitchen with Cutco at twice the price with even just the sale price that you see here, uh, you'd be looking at twice the price at 17478 all right? So it would be like buying a top of the line sub-zero fridge or doing all like wolf appliances, all right? Um, by the way, if you guys want to buy a top grade sub-zero, like one sub-zero top end fridge is 16 to 20 grand, just so you guys know. So anyway, go look it up online. Um, uh, so anyway, so if you wanted to redo your whole kitchen, you know, um, if you want to redo your whole kitchen uh, with, um, as I said, with Cutco at twice the price, even if we use the sale price from online, you'd be looking at 17,478. I'm like, so it's like buying a top of the line uh, sub-zero fridge or doing like all wolf appliances. Uh, so now the awesome thing about Cutco is that since it's not sold in stores, it's not 17,000. As a matter of fact, it's not even as much as doing it at Williams Sonoma uh, with the silk prices of eight uh, eighty-seven thirty-nine. Okay, um, uh, our our kitchen, which is guaranteed forever, um, uh, retails separately uh, for over nine thousand dollars. But if you wanted to try it all out, there is a bundle, and so the bundle you save twenty percent, um, and it comes out to sixty-eight fifty-three. Cool. So if you wanted to try it all out. You could pay for it all today, um, but most people don't do that. You know, as I mentioned earlier, I'm assuming you didn't put away, you know, seven to 10 grand to redo your kitchen today. Uh, so, you know, and you haven't even had a chance to try it all out yet. Uh, so what most people will do when they start out their Cutco collection is they use our deposit program. And so what that is, it's 100% refundable deposit that you can put down on anything you want to try out, all right? You put down 20% uh, of a set and it gives you three weeks to try it out and see what you think. So the deposit, if you wanted to try the whole, the kitchen, uh, the deposit would come out to 1415, all right? Uh, which um, uh, it would be, uh, that that's what the deposit that would be that you put down, all right? Uh, if you decided to keep it on easy pay after that, um, it would actually break down to five, or sorry, 353 per week, um, which would be 176 each. Cool. Um, so basically how this works is you would put the deposit down of the uh, 1415, you would get three weeks to try everything out, all right? Um, and excuse me, make sure you love everything. Uh, if there's anything you don't like, you can send back that individual thing or piece, or maybe you're like, I don't want the pots and pans, or I don't want this or whatever, and you get a full refund even though it was discounted with the bundle, you get a full refund on the full retail price of that, right? Um, just so that you're aware of that. Um, uh, Cause you do pay, you know, the money to send it back for shipping. So the company um, gives you the full retail price. All right. Um, uh, so that would be worst case, which by the way, I highly doubt people absolutely love all this stuff, you know? So you have two options. You can call and pay the full thing off. Uh, or as I mentioned, you can do your easy pay and pay the same amount each month. All right. And again, at any time you can call and pay it off. Uh, so, uh, but this is hundred percent refundable, gives you a chance to, you know, three weeks to try it out and just see how you like it. Right. Uh, and then I just put that down so they can look at it. I'm like, so as an incentive to try it all out today versus later, we have something called a buy now bonus, where if you wanted to try that today, um, uh, as a thank you, I would actually buy you a thousand dollars in free gifts. Uh, so you could get the can opener, the entertainer back, the barbecue tools, the fishing knives, and another like $500 uh, dollars or whatever the heck you guys wanted for free, uh, as a thank you. And you guys get to keep all that as long as you have the order. Um, uh, so, uh, you guys could get that. So now that you know the prices, would you want to put a deposit on the kitchen and try everything out and get the thousand dollars in free gifts? Um, or would you want to know prices on the stuff that you liked? Uh, the previous. All right, cool. All right. Um, uh, and then I put there and you guys will have this, but it says, if yes, don't freak out. 
<laughs> all right um just say okay great and then and this is what you say after now you say okay great you say um and by the way miss jones did you have any other homes or gifts that you guys might need stuff for because uh, as i mentioned earlier the more you buy it once the more you actually save uh, and they're like oh actually yeah we do have another home and you know each other like Fleet. all right but stay calm you gotta be like a duck on water all right so on top you're gliding over the water even though underneath you're like trying to go gliding over the water all right <laughs> so be super comfortable and confident uh and then um if not you're like oh let me show you uh deals on what you loved all right so um letting them know stuff but you're just you're just saying to them like hey the retail price you liked of what this you know if you did it so if they didn't do this if they said to you oh just the stuff that i like all right so again, by the way, you're just throwing it out there because it's going to help you sell more of the stuff that they liked, right? Um, uh, it's a small percent of people that go, you know what? Yeah, let's try everything. But if they kind of liked it and if they're like, oh, I did like all that stuff and holy crap, that's a huge discount, you know, from 9,000 to 6853 and they get get $1,000 of whatever they want on top of that, that's huge, all right? Uh, for you guys, it's about a 5,000 CPO, just so you guys know, because Cookware is really low CPO. Uh, that's a nice order, right? Six, that's good. Um, you'll see much bigger kitchens. This is basic. This is just the prices on this for this, by the way. Um, and I'll, I'll get those for you exactly. But this is uh, a basic uh, complete set with table knives, uh, the basic cookware and the basic and, and the chest. So it's the basic things of the complete set, um, the cookware, the small cookware and the chest. All right, so if they want to do a complete set with steak knives, if they want to do a full cookware set, if they want to add the accessories of the cookware set, going into the chest, like now it's in the 7,000, 8,000 or more, but that's more of a, a small, like a, a starter kitchen, um, so to speak, where they have all the knives, uh, basic pots, you know, and they have the flatware, all right? It doesn't have the serving set for the flatware. It doesn't have, so if I had someone who actually wanted to redo their whole kitchen and they were picking out everything, I actually wouldn't even close on that. I would just write down everything they liked. And I would show the normal clothes of like, hey, this is what it normally costs in stores. And it would be 17,000 just for these three pieces. If you wanted to redo everything that you loved, let me get all the prices for everything. And let me call my manager. All right. And when you do bundle prices, we're going to still be doing a lot of this for you guys. But if you're like, wait, how did you get the price from 9,000 to 6,853? When you guys look on cutco.com, it tells you like the flatware chest, it's a 700 something dollar discount by buying the chest versus doing 12 settings individually. The homemaker is over $1,400 if purchased separately. It's 1273 as a set. The complete set is like three or $400 more if, or more than that if purchased separately, okay? The course. So we're taking the regular price of everything, which you can find on cutco.com. And, and then we're showing them like the bundle, you know, the, the discount on everything, they buy, you know, the sets, uh, what it is, all right? So I, when we get back together um, next week, and even this week, I'll, I'll hash out and show you guys different uh, kitchens, all right? So you have different versions of prices on things, all right? Um, depending if they like the homemaker, because we used to, I don't know where it is, and I didn't have time to, to do that this week, but I will get it where if, like, if they do a homemaker, uh, if they do a signature, or if they do a complete set, you know, like depending which one they liked, and then depending, and, and I'll do the cookware, um, uh, you know, the full, the medium cookware, or if they do the full cookware, it's more like, so I'll, I'll do the different ones. So you can see the combinations and what the prices would be on that. Uh, so I'll get that for you guys. So you have it. Cause if someone wants uh, a complete set and a full cookware, uh, and oh, well, that's going to be more than a homemaker with a basic cookware and a flatware chest, right? So those are going to be different prices. So we'll get that for you guys. So you have it. Uh, most people will say, oh, well, probably just the stuff that I liked. What's the prices there? I'm like, all right, cool. Well, and, and so on the bottom of this close, it says retail price of what you liked is, because again, I quote the prices that are on cutco.com before the savings, all right? The regular full price of everything. So I'm like, so the retail price of everything you liked is blank, but if you did it as a bundle, it would only be blank. Uh, and you learn this also on the events team, um, doing this on the events team. So again, you could pay in full or just do the deposit that would come out to this. Uh, and you're still able to get blanking gifts today. How much can you offer in gifts? Um, just so you guys know, about 20%. Cool? About 20%. It's a $1,000 order, 200 bucks. It's a $5,000 order, but it's like 15 to 20%. So I typically offer 10% in gifts is what I try to say in 10, 15. When you have these big massive, like big orders, uh, 15 to 20% is fine to offer as free gifts. And you might just do 15. And if they do a trade-in, then you could do like, 
20% off or 30% discount. Your manager will help you with that, right? If you're coaching with Randy, he'll do a lot of this for you. Um, I, I highly recommend uh, coaching with Randy or having somebody that's going to like do all this math and everything for you. I'm not, I'm going to tell you, this is what it is, figure it out. Um, uh, but he'll really coach and help you close on those big orders. Uh, that's how uh, Taylor did $40,000 in two and a half weeks with him. Uh, she sold 40 K was him. He was like giving her all the big deals, showing her all that. Um, so it's worth it because you'll close, uh, you'll close bigger and more often because it'll take time doing all that. Um, but anyway, you just, you write it down, you show them and you say, Hey, um, is that something, you know, so I put here, uh, gifts today, 10% of what they're spending. That's what it says. I always offer is the initial free gifts. And then if they're like on the fence, I'm like, Hey, if you trade in some of your old stuff, you could actually get like a 15% off or you could pick out 25% of free gifts. So now instead of 10% of free gifts, you're getting 25% of free gifts, which is like 150% more, you know? Uh, so um, and I'll show you guys what, like what that looks like on paper. So uh, if they're on the fence, that's where I put here. If they donated, uh, you guys can do the discount or you can get free stuff. Hey, is that something that you'd be interested in? So um, I have this uh, typed out so you guys can just start getting the flow of it. But that's what I, I just show the kitchen to show a big number. And they're like, no, I'm probably just a stuff. Like, I'm like, cool, let me get all the prices for you on that. And so there, that's where you could pause. And some people like to do recommendations right there and say, well, real quick, before I do that and figure that stuff out, I'm like, so how'd you enjoy the presentation? I'm like, did you like it? And I'm like, all right, well, so I get paid every time I show Cutco, whatever. Uh, and you can have them start working on recs while you're doing deals, you know? So you'll hear that a lot from top people when you're working on big deals, let them start working on recommendations while you're working on deal. Uh, so you're writing down all the stuff they liked. We're getting all the regular retail price, cool? So you guys go to cutco.com or whatever get all the regular retail price. Um, let me make a note here because I know the events team has the regular um, retail prices. I believe they have it all on one paper and I'll be with them tomorrow night. All right. Cause that'd be cool for you guys just to have a price list that has all the regular. Cause when they do shows, when they do home shows, that's what they use. Cause if someone goes on cuckoo.com, they're going to see what the regular price is and what the savings. So you're not like lying to them. Actually the prices you guys have are all discounted because all the sets are discounted, you know? So your regular price list, your regular prices aren't regular prices. Those are actually discounted prices. You guys look on cuckoo.com. Those are regular prices and it shows a discounted price, which shows up in your guys' price list. Okay. So anyway, I'm going to write down all my regular retail prices. Then I'm going to add it all up with the ones that are in my price list. And I'm going to go, Hey, normally this would all be 4218. Uh, if you did it all as a bundle set, it actually comes out to uh, 2998. Um, uh, and so the deposit for that would be this. And I show them that and I'm like, so you're saving, you know, whatever, 20% or 25%. Uh, and you could get blank amount for free. I'm like, is that something that sounds better? Um, and I'm writing over random papers, but I'm going to be comfortable. All right. Now, majority of my demos um, so I'd say that people that pick two or more, I don't know, it is a smaller percent, like maybe 20, 30%, right? But like over half, at least over half, uh, the majority, I'd probably say three quarter, closer to three quarters, just picked a knife set, all right? They're like, oh, I don't need flour right now. I don't need cooker right now. So they picked a knife set plus a bunch of other accessories, like from the back, you know? Uh, but in terms of the three main parts of the kitchen, um, over half, uh, if not, if not you know, two thirds, three quarters, I, I can't tell you exactly, but for sure over half are going to just pick a knife set and accessories. Okay. So most of the time uh, I was using uh, the triple close. All right. Uh, who's heard my triple close before? Raise your hand if you've heard my triple close before. All right. Um, uh, oh crap. Did they do two of the same? Yes, they did. They did all kitchen clothes. All right. So I'm going to just show you guys um, what that looks like. Who has the price or Javon, do I still have your book? Yeah, I do. Um, uh, oh yeah, I don't need it, but I, I'm going to show you guys this. I wanted the books. So who's, you can give this book back. All right. So let me show you guys this. Cause no, cause I have the, where's the price list that I want? Where's your comparison, Javon? Yeah, I don't see it. I always have it as my first page. I don't see it here. Um, it's not here. All right, here, pass these around. This is the kitchen clothes, so you guys can all see this. The side with the yellow is page two, cool? The side with all white is page one. So go ahead and number it so you don't get confused, but pass these around real quick so you guys can all see it, all right? Um, and then I also- You wanna like walk around the top um, Sure, thank you. And then we all here also take these. This, do not lose this. Put this in a page protector. We have page protectors in the back um, to put this in. 
This is your comparison straight off the cart from William and Sonoma, all right? Uh, so grab one of these and pass them around. Uh, about low, can you grab me page protectors from the back? I think we have them over there. Everyone grab one of those, all right? Thank you. 